this is Jared Horak for todaysracingdigest.com and this is my Delmar Saturday video for Saturday, August 5th, 2017. We're going to do the 8th race from Delmar. It's going to be the Grade 2 Yellow Ribbon Handicap for fillies and mares. A mile and a 16th on the turf course. We have an 8 horse field and your morning line favorite in here uh, is going to be number 8 Avenge. So we're, we're actually going for, for our third winner in a row in our Delmar summer videos. We started the summer meet doing the Eddie Reed. Had, uh, we got Hunt home on top, plus the exacta with Ashley Love Sugar. And then the Bing Crosby last week, that was, that was a crazy race uh, with the favorite throwing the rider and, and, and getting uh, Drafon getting all involved in it. But we ended up giving out the Quinella. Uh, Roy H. was my top choice. He finished a troubled second behind Ransom the, Room, the Moon. So we got that Quinella home. So we're going for three in a row with our Delmar videos. And let's see if we can beat the favorite Avenge, even though uh, she is a solid contender, especially on her form from last year. She's two for two in Delmar turf routes. Richard Mandela, Flavie and Pratt, good jockey trainer team. Flavie and Pratt, an excellent turf rider. Richard Mandela, his last 15 starters, he's five for 15. Now her, her return race, uh, she hooked Lady Eli. She ended up setting the pace, weakening to finish third in that one. But her, her firm form last year was good, including winning the John Maybe and getting a 150 final rating at Delmar last summer. And then after that, she got a, a 156 final rating and then a 146 final rating in the Breeders' Cup of Philly and Mare Turf. And then she came back this year, and her first start this year, she got a 140 final rating. You can see, based on her numbers last year and her first number this year, her number dropped off a bit. And she, she obviously could go better second off the layoff, but then there's also the possibility that she's just not as good this year. And then especially if she gets hooked early, you have horses like Friends of Five and especially number four, Juno, that are capable of showing speed. And if they don't let her get out there and relax and control the pace, uh, we could be looking at a little bit of an upset. And I hope that's the case because that's what I'm expecting. Number seven, Cambodia, is, is my, my top choice uh, in the yellow ribbon. She's had eight turf routes overall in her career with four wins and four thirds. So she certainly does well in turf routes, finishing in the top three in all eight of those races. A trainer, Tom Proctor, uh, and then Drayton Van Dyke's gonna ride. Tom Proctor is uh, three for 15 in his last 15 starters for a 20% win rate. Now at Parks last time, she ended up finishing an okay third. Sometimes horses don't handle that Parks turf course like they do others, but she handled it okay, finishing third. She's just so consistent. She tries hard all the time, and she got a 138 final rating in that one, and then she won a little stakes race, a grade three, uh, at Pimlico prior to that, and she also got a 138 final rating. Now, a good ca category that I like to use in the digest, the fastest in the stretch, and especially in turf races. And if you, you look at that and you see that, that uh, Cambodia is one of the fastest finishers in the stretch. Now the track profile for this race, you have uh, 40 races, 20% won by front runners, 12% won by pressers, and then the mid runners and the, and the late runners uh, do best here. So then that, that kind of category, you're, you're looking for uh, horses that can close. And, and one that has a good finishing kick is Cambodia. She did have that 29.7 finishing kick at Parks last time, but she can finish faster than that. She had back-to-back -back races at Pimlico and Laura where she finished in 28.5 seconds. And if she can run uh, her last uh, a few furlongs that fast, uh, she certainly is going to be a big threat in here. Hill House High for trainer Richard Baltus, one to look at. Uh, Corey Nakatani is going to ride. Good jockey trainer team. Baltus has finished, uh, his runners have finished in the top two in seven of his last 15 starters. So he's a good barn here. Couple starts back. Uh, she earned a 152 final rating in the Royal Heroine, but none of her other numbers are that good, and I think she's better at a mile. She's run once on the Del Mar Turf course with one second place finish. But again, her number was a little bit inflated, I think, a couple back. But she is a threat stalking the pace. And then Pretty Girl, uh, one to look at as a long shot in here. Mike Smith rides back for trainer Paula Lobo. Uh, this one, her, her good number that makes her a threat in here, you can go back to March in the Santa Ana, the at nine furlongs at Santa Anita, a grade two, where she had a 144 final rating, and she finished up in 28.1 seconds. If she can run that kind of race, she's a stretch threat, but her last two weren't nearly as good as that one. So my top four contenders in the 2017 Yellow Ribbon at Damar. My top choice is Cambodia. My second choice is Avenge. My third choice, Hill House High. My fourth choice, Pretty Girl. We're going to make a win wager on number seven, Cambodia. We're going to play a Quinella, Cambodia with Avenge, Hill House High, and Pretty Girl. And then a trifecta. We're going to put Cambodia, Avenge, and Hill House High in first. We're going to put all in second, and we're going to put number six, Pretty Girl, in third. If you're interested in my full card analysis from Del Mar, you can find that at todaysracingdigest.com each day. 
if you're, all, you're, if you're also interested in this uh, complete digest for Delmar for Yellow Ribbon Day 2017, you can go over to todaysracingdigest.com, click on the products page, there you will find uh, this digest and then other digests from across the country. That I wrap up this week's video. We'll be back next week with another stakes race from around the country, probably from Delmar.